Stop 32 on the Castle GTX Cup Series brings us to Martinsville Speedway for the running of the Tums Fast Relief 500. On the pole at 99 miles an hour, it's Alexandra Jones, our Daytona 500 winner. Alongside of her, Russ Batson in car 88, row 2. Dylan Pote, car number 94. Alongside of him is Aaron Williams in 66. Row number 3 has Johnny Gardner and Dominic Jarvis. Row 4 has Robbie Hardy and Eric Matthews in row 5. Red Bell and Mike Doobie. Let's see what happens here at Martinsville as Alexandra Jones looking for her second win of the, of their, of the season. She'll come down and the green flag about the wave and let's go short track racing. Alexandra Jones out in front. Dylan Pote quickly goes into second position. Dylan wants a win very, very bad as you know. Dalton, they did it at Charlotte. So Dylan figures if Dalton can do it, I might want to try to duplicate the feed at Martinsville. <laughs> but not if Alexandra Jones can help it and she's in the number one spot as she leads the first lap. And a caution is out already. Justin Acosta has spun in car number nine and uh, oh my gosh. He is mad apparently at Jacob Rodriguez. Just comes up for no reason, just bumps the 10 car. We'll see what happened here on this on the start. Now, Jacob Rodriguez had nothing to do with it. And let's see, it might have been Sasha Dawson in the 75. Yeah, huh? Sasha turns Justin around. Little rough and tough short track action. No harm, no foul. But it's Alexander Jones who leads the race right now after, well, just two laps in the race. <laughs> Restart will come, I believe, on lap number six. Here, Dylan Pote runs in second position. Russ Batson, Johnny Gardner, and Robbie Hardy in the top ten. Or top five in this race. And Alexandra's boyfriend, Aaron Williams, runs in sixth position right now. Part of the Williams-Jones team. Both building Pontiacs. The green flag about the wave again on lap number six. Five down in the books. 45 to go at Martinsville. And Alexandra Jones back out in front. Dylan Pote runs in second position. Third is Russ Batson. Fourth, Johnny Gardner. And fifth is the 24 of Robbie Hardy. Robbie Hardy's been coming on a little strong here the last several races. Had a good run at Charlotte. But right now, Alexandra's got them all covered right now. As we've completed now seven laps in this race, Dougie Shears having problems. He's on pit road. Unscheduled pit stop for Dougie, and Dougie Shears goes a lap down. So, and that's a kill for Dougie Shears. 35 miles an hour down pit road. <laughs> and they say it takes forever. Even when you're doing 35 miles an hour down pit road, and you see cars going next to you, going by you, going about 95 miles an hour plus. As Dougie Shears goes to the inside of Michael Flanagan. Justin Baxter and Jacob Rodriguez currently in the field, but Alexander Jones is closing in on those lap cars. Jacob's out of turn two. Now Alexandra is in the middle of one and two. Dylan Pote keeping the second position right now. Russ Batson in third spot. Alexandra Jones, as you remember, won the Daytona 500. Since then, she's been, had some flashes of brilliance in this series, but she's come close to win a couple times, and she almost pulled off the Daytona sweep in the Pepsi 400, falling a spot short to Ryan Acosta.
and Alexandra, one of the eight women who have won in this series. Sasha Dawson recently became the eighth at Kansas a couple races ago. It's taking through the field right now. Alexandra Jones, the leader. Dylan Pote, Russ Batson, Johnny Gardner, Robbie Hardy in the 24. Present fifth. Six is Aaron Williams. Seventh, Dominic Jarvis. Red Bell right behind him in eighth position. The Budweiser Ford. Ninth is Eric Matthews. Keith Batson. Running in 10th position. Keith, the defending champion of this race. He runs 10th. Mike Duby in the 11th position. Trent Dunham going for the Martinsville sweep. He runs 12th. He did it for Nepal in the spring race. He's got quite a ways to make up. Lisa Shears in 13th spot. John Acosta, 14th, 15th, Wes Riddle, 16th, Earl Jarvis, 17th, is Levi Shones, 18th, our championship leader, Morgan Carpenter. She's ahead of Jasmine Acosta, but not by much. She's just got John Dawson in between in 19th, and then Jasmine in 20th. We got a spinner, it looks like, in turn one. Maybe it's Jacob Rodriguez. Now, I believe that's brought out the caution flag. Boy, look at that. Several cars just strewn all over the place. Looks like. Alexander Jones and Dylan Poteet's passed a lot of lap cars. <laughs> Trying to get to the pace car. Dougie Shears passing them all. I don't know what that was all about. Let's show you what happened to Jacob Rodriguez. I believe he caused a spin to bring this caution flag out. I don't get it. We went caution free here back in the spring and here we are two cautions in Martinsville. Oh, that's... Let's see, Jacob Rodriguez, he got lapped recently right there. The first two cars went by him good, then Russ Batson and which Johnny Gardner in car 33. He goes by him Then Robbie Hart and J Jacob hits the wall. Robbie Hardy Says, get out of my way. Oh, Aaron Williams, he got hit very bad. Red Bell barely squeezes in between. Trent Dunham, everybody. So just a two-car accident. No harm and no foul for... No harm and no foul for Jacob Rodriguez. So two cautions in this event right now is Alexandra Jones has the lead with Dylan Poteet, Russ Batson, Johnny Gardner, and Robbie Hardy, the top five. We're going to have cars on the inside, lap cars on the inside on this start. So this is not going to be good news for Alexandra Jones or Dylan Poteet. Alexandra gets a better start, but Dylan Poteet didn't, and here he's he's trapped in the lap traffic. And Keith and Russ Batson went to the inside of Dylan, and Russ is going to go in a number two position. Oh my gosh! And Johnny Gardner's and Robbie Hardy, Red Bell, all hung up behind Jacob Rodriguez. And oh, Jacob spins again, and watch out. Oh my gosh. Several cars bumping and banging and wadding them up. One Jacob Rodriguez's car really damaged up this time. Look again as to what happened. 
Oh my goodness. Now let's just shake up Rodriguez. He is going to hold up the entire field. Johnny Gardner, Robbie Hardy, Red Bell, everybody. They come out of turn two. Johnny puts Jacob in the, rock, in the wall. Gets hit and he hits Mike Doobie and Lisa Shears. Johnny gets rendered by John Acosta, but then watch this. Ooh! Dalton Day flips him over, and Batson gets into him in the in the three car. As I said, just all wadding him up, and you know, Zed Weinstein he gets crashed, wadding him up, strewn all over the place, and making a gigantic mess. Let's go on board with Ann Batson. I, she had a, I'd say, an interesting view of all this. Hard, hard luck for Ann Batson. Dalton Day, I didn't have a decent view neither. It's right behind Jake, right behind Matthew Rodriguez in an eight. Now, finally, from Jacob Rodriguez's car. This is not going to be pretty view at all. Into the pit wall, too. We've gone back to green flag racing now here in Martinsville. It's hard that we missed the restart. Alexander Jones is out in front in the second position now. Well, Dougie Shears and Sasha Dawson are lap cars. Dominic Jarvis is now in the number two position car. Then comes Russ Batson in third. Keith Batson in fourth position. Dylan Poteen in fifth. Lisa Shears getting around Math Eric Matthews in sixth. Or fifth position, excuse me. Or sixth position is where Lisa's at right now, excuse me. Ryan Acosta's on pit road, so is Alex Tanker. And, and Alexander Dawson also on pit road as well. Right now, Alexander Jones has led from start to finish thus far as we have completed 30 laps in the books now, 20 to go here at Martinsville. What's been a wild and wacky short track race thus far? And let's go on, what do you say, let's go on board with Alexander Jones. As we take a lap around with her. We saw the RP. Alexander's got a little in case of wheel spin sounds like. RPM's going the tack owner's going just a little bit nuts. As we pointed out many times before at Martinsville, two things that a track is hard on, on your car, that's engines and brakes. 
very hard on your engines and very hard on your brakes as evidenced by the long stretch and the tight turns, which is why they've called us track a paper clip. And you can hear and you can hear the whine of the engine as they go off in the third turn now. Sash as Alexandra Jones will lead him down as she has 35 in the books and 15 laps remaining to try to pull off a Martinsville victory. It would be her second one of the season if she can hold on those those last few laps of the race. Dougie Shears uh, is not in second position. He's a lap down in 33rd. So is Sasha Dawson in 34th. Our Kansas winner, Alex Tanker in 36. He also is a lap down. Russ Batson's in second position with Keith Batson in third. The brothers Batson having a good day so far. Keith, as I said, the defending champion of this race from season two. He won this race in, he won in season two and season three, as a matter of fact. He's, he, he was looking for his third win in a row on, at this event. But unless something happens to Alexandra and um, Keith's brother Russ, then it may not happen for Keith this season. But nevertheless, he's got a good top five run going. That's the best he's done all season. Other than the win at Richmond back in the 11th race of the season. But right now, Alexandra Jones has got things under control. She can probably, she can probably drive with an arm propped up on the roll bar, turn the radio on, and watch the scenery go by. But she better not do that right now because she's got lap traffic ahead. Ann Batson and Zed Weinstein may give Alexandra fits, and Alexandra quickly goes to the inside of Zed Weinstein and says, "Excuse me, Zed, I'm coming through." <laughs> 10 laps to go for Alexandra Jones, and now she does the same thing to Ann Batson, and a former winner at Martinsville, as a matter of fact. She won this, she won the first Martinsville race in season three, but Ann Batson's season has been all but horrible this seat this year. Only one win, and that came at Rockingham. But now, Aunt, but Alexander Jones right now she's got the, she's got her car on cruise control right now. Six and a half to go, or seven laps to go, I should say for Alexander Jones. I almost said six. Excuse me. Lost count on the laps here. Seven to go now for Alexander Jones, and she's got a lap car, another lap car ahead of another yellow car, R Ryan Acosta. Alexandra should be in good shape. She's got about three or four cars in between. She's got three cars in between herself and second place runner Russ Batson. Out of corner number four, she comes. Alexandra now has four or five laps to go now. Take you through the field one more time. There's Lisa Shears running in fourth. Dominic Jarvis, Trent Dunham, Eric Mandy's Levi Shones, Earl Jarvis, Dylan Pote running in tenth. Robbie Hardy, championship leader Morgan Carpenter. She'll have a great point stay if she can hold on these last four laps of the race. Wes Riddle right behind in the thirteenth position. Three laps remaining for Alexandra Jones. Off in the third turn she goes. Two to go. I don't know if Ryan Acosta is going to be of any factor for Alexandra. Ryan Acosta just up ahead. He's a lap car. 
But like I said, even if Alexandra gets hung up, she's got three lap cars between herself and second place. Russ Bass in the white flag waves for Alexandra Jones. 0.526 miles left at Martinsville as she brings her she brings a country time Pontiac out of turn number two. Now she eyes turn three and out of corner number four she comes. The Tums Fast Relief 500 will belong to Alexandra Jones. She has done it to, today at Martinsville. The bright yellow country time Pontiac to the to victory lane at Martinsville, the shortest of the tracks on the Castle Kicks Cup Series circuit. Average speed 73.264. Alexandra Jones wins the race. Russ Batson second. Keith Batson third. His best in a long time. Lisa Shears in fourth. Dominic Jarvis fifth position. Sixth Trent Dunham. Seventh Eric Matthews. Eighth Levi Shones. Ninth Earl Jarvis. And Dylan Pote comes home in tenth position. Eleventh is Robbie Hardy. Twelfth Morgan Carpenter. Thirteenth Wes Riddle. Jasmine Acosta fourteenth. And Mike Doobie comes home fifteenth. And on down to J Justin Acosta in 28th position. Mike Becker 25th. Not here, not usual for uh, the short track specialists, I guess you might say. And on down to Jacob Rodriguez with a horrible crash. Finishes 41st. Dalton Day, Justin Baxter, and Alex Filter all with crashes that retired them out of the race. But Alexandra Jones in the Country Time Pontiac wins today at Martinsville Street Speedway. And she showed the way at Martinsville indeed. And there's the points as they are right now. Morgan Carpenter with four races left. Leads by 59 over Jasmine Acosta. Lisa Shears in third. Brian Acosta fourth. And Eric Matthews fifth. Alexandra Jones' victory moved her up in the number six position. Russ Batts in seventh. Aaron Williams, 8th, John Acosta, 9th, and Jacob Rodriguez has had a free fall so far. He's down to 10th spot. Mike Doobie, Earl Jarvis, Red Bell, Johnny Gardner, Dominic Jarvis, Alexander Dawson, Sasha Dawson, Matthew Rodriguez, Zed Weinstein, and Wes Riddle, the top 20 in the points. <laughs> At With four races remaining in the season, the championship battle could be getting a little interesting here. Between three, we could have, in fact, I think it may be one, two, three women, ladies this season. We got a three, a three, a, we got a three female sweep going on right now. And several cars is not faring very well on the points right now. Next race on the tour will be Atlanta Motor Speedway for the Napa Know How 500.